Hey there diggers, back at our favorite park. Um, and I've been uh, digging a little bit here this afternoon and getting some wheat pennies uh, on my towel there. I got four wheat pennies so far, and if you can believe it, I also have nine, three 1959 Memorial pennies. So, uh, weedy wannabes. Uh, but I just dug a hole here that gave me a nickel slash pull tab type of signal. It was going bouncing around from 12-12, 13-13. 16, 13, 16, 14, 14, 12, all over the place. But uh, dug a plug. It wasn't all that deep. I was expecting it to be a pull tab, but I do have a nickel here. And I did cheat and look at it just a little bit. And I saw that it was a buffalo. There's the backside. I have to clean it up a little bit. Let's see what if I can. If I can see anything on the front for a date. Uh, I'll have to clean that one up and see what I can find out at home. But I uh, still got a buffalo. I know it's that. Pretty good shape anyway on the back. So we'll see if we can get a date out of it and show you at the end. Thanks for watching everybody. Hey there diggers. I uh, just got myself a nice uh, signal 11.45, 12.45, it says at 8 inches deep. Got an extra large plug here. And I don't know if you'll be able to see it or not, but in the top of the plug, you can see the imprint of what the coin was or where it was. And down in the hole, I have not touched it yet. You can see the outline of what appears to be a silver dime. So I'm gonna check now for the first time and see what I got. Definitely have a rim of silver. Ah, it looks like it's going to be a rosy, which would be, I think, silver number 11 for me for the year. See what I, if that comes up with a date or not. We have to set it down. Nineteen sixty-two. All right, well, another silver anyway. Always like to find silver, you know. Have a good day, everybody. And we'll talk to you again soon, I hope. Hopefully we'll find some more. Happy hunting, everybody. Well, there, diggers, I got another silver. Second one of the day. First time I have, a, have had a couple of silvers in the same day in a long time. Uh, it was giving me, I don't know if you can see that, 1345. Signal was uh, saying it was pretty shallow. Didn't have to dig that big a plug. Looks like a big plug, but it's only maybe three or four inches. And uh, it was actually in the plug, and then it uh, fell out. And uh, another silver dime. And let's see what we got here. 19. What? 46. So it was almost a merc. 1946. I don't know if I got any uh, mint mark or anything on the back. I'll have to clean it up later. If they clean up good, uh, I'll uh, show you all at the end of the video. It makes uh, two rosies today. Uh, I think I got six wheat pennies and one uh, buffalo nickel. So a pretty good hunt here at the park. Uh, the place keeps giving out, so we'll just keep coming back until uh, we don't find anything else. Happy hunting, everybody, and we'll talk to you again soon. Well, back home everybody with the vines cleaned up. We'll go through the clad stuff first. As I told you on the uh, video when I was recording it, I got three 1959 uh, memorial pennies. And my newest penny of the day was 1961 and that happened to be the deepest coin I dug at about uh, a foot. It was already, it was all the way down on the depth meter. And I know that uh, you probably can't see the dates on this. These uh, these pennies really got uh, chewed up, and you can hardly even make out that they're pennies. Also got a Canadian penny that I can't tell the date on. You can just see the 19 in the far left-hand side. I uh, can't see the rest of the date. Can't see any of the back. The whole back is completely green. Just a nasty-looking coin. Uh, and then one clad nickel from 1999. Did end up with five wheat pennies. Uh, I don't know if you'll see the dates on it, but that's a 1944 
1946, 1952, 1953, and then one other one that I cannot see a date on at all. It's just completely covered up with that green growth on it. Uh, did end up with a uh, nice buffalo nickel, 1937. I don't know if that'll focus in on that in uh, in uh, real in person. You can see the the date real clear. And then I got two uh, silver rosies, a 1962 D, I believe, and a 1946 D. I'm going to focus in. There it is, 1946. You can see the backs of those. This dime turned out to be in pretty good shape. 1962 D. And this one, 1946. Actually, it was a plane. Uh, a little worn, but. Uh, you know, one, only one year off from being a Merc. So, pretty good uh, day of hunting, and I hope you enjoyed yourself watching it. Uh, please uh, like the video and leave a comment if you'd like. Talk to you later. Happy hunting, everybody.